hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're new here or seeing this video for the first time thank you so much for stopping by and to all my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i really really appreciate it so on today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how i draft my cut my cap corset or bralette and these are the measurements you will need you also need your rules your curves your pencils and all the drafting materials you use in drafting okay let's get into the video i'm just gonna come down here by one inch that's why i want to start my drafting from So first of all, my shoulder to bust, my shoulder to under bust, which is 13, shoulder to waist, 16 for me, and then my waist to hip is 8 inches, so I'll just come down by 8 inches. So after marking or drawing out my lines, I'll just go up the bust line here by 2 inches to get my chest line. So after drawing in my lines, I'm just going to go ahead and then divide my bust pan into 2. My bust pan is 7 and 7 inches divided by 2 is 3.5. So I'll just be marking the three and a half from my chest line all the way to the hem. So when you're done marking it, you're just coming down to the waistline. We're going to measure half an inch, both sides of the waistline here. So half inch here, half inch there. Then we're going to um, be drawing a dot from here all the way to the bust line. And we'll do the same thing to the hem. So just connect them with your ruler, like so. And then we are doing that same thing to the hem. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I'll be going in half an inch at the underpass. So uh, my bust is 36, so I'll be using half an inch here. If your bust is um, from 40, 42 going, you can go ahead and then use three quarter instead of half an inch. So if you're a very busty person, use three quarter instead of half. So for me, I'll just be going half an inch all the um, at both sides, sorry. So half inch here and then half inch here too. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll be doing that same thing I did here to this part. So on the hem, I'll be going half inch at both sides like I did for the underbust. Then I'm just going to use my curve to draw the lines here to meet. So this is my curve here. I'm just going to place it like this. Don't make it too curvy. Then you're just gonna use your pencil or your marker to draw it to meet. And you do the same thing for the other side. Okay. So after drawing in this, we're just gonna be connecting our points we marked at the underpass to, um, to the past point, sorry. Do that same thing to the other side. And that's it for this side. So after drawing in this bottom part, we're going to be dealing with the top part. So the top part is barely needed, but because I want it to guide me to get my um, top, the top part of the cups, that's why I'm just going to go ahead and draw this. So I'm just going to be maintaining my three inches by three inches for the neckline here then i'll just use my curve to connect it and from this point i just went in by four inches on this line for my shoulder slope and on the four inch line i went in one inch like so okay so it will look something like this 
just make sure that it's up to four inches here so this is where it is so on this four inch line you're going to be dividing this four inch by two and so i'll be getting to so four divided by two is two so at this mid shoulder here well we will be connecting this point all the way to this bus point here so after drawing in this line you'll be taking the measurement between your bust line here and your under bust mine is three inches so i'm going to use that to draw a circle around so that it will guide me to draw in the cups so just make sure that the point is on the bust point here So I just went ahead to connect the points together to create my circle. So the next thing I went ahead to do is work on the top part of my cup. So you can use three inches, three and a half or four inches, depending on how covered you want the um, bust to be. You can also go ahead and maintain this point here, this three inch point here. But for me, I want it to be covered at the bust area. So I'll, I'll be using three and a half for mine. So I'll just go ahead and then mark the three and a half here. Then I'll just use my ruler to connect those points. So after drawing out the line, I'm going to be measuring the distance between this part at my under bust area. So I'm having one and a half inch. And then at one and a half inch, I'm going to be sharing it at the top part here. So I'll be using one inch for the part going to the towards the armhole, and I'll be using half inch for the part for the part going towards the center front. So one inch here, and then half inch at this point. Also, in order to avoid gaping at this point, I'm just gonna go in by a quarter. So that it doesn't give your cap doesn't give after you're done stitching it okay so we're just going to be connecting this point all the way to the points we marked here so it'll look like this after you're done drawing it so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'll be adding half inch to this part here because this one always ends up being longer than this side so i'm just gonna go up by half an inch and then connect it to that point so if you're having this side being shorter than this side you can also go ahead and then measure it so that you know the amount you're going to add to this side so this is half an inch here so just go ahead, use a curve to join it to that half an inch point. Okay. Since we are doing a sweetheart neckline, I'm going to be marking my sweetheart in here. So it depends on how deep you want my, uh, yours. But with mine, I'll be going down half an inch from the chest line here. Then half an inch going inside like so so at this point here you can go ahead and then go in three quarter instead of half inch depending on how busty you are or depending on how wide you want that center front part to be so i'm just going to use my curve to join these two parts together okay so i'll be joining this part all the way to the um under bus point here like so so you can just go ahead and then follow your curve here i mean the circle you drew here just follow that circle all the way to the point here okay so it will look something like this after you're done drawing this side it's time to draw our armhole so i'll just be going down from that point here straight to my chest line here like so make sure it's straight so measure the distance between this point to that point there and then divide it by two so after you divide it by two you get the midpoint here so on this midpoint go in by half of an inch 
here so before we draw our curves i'm just going to be dividing my bust by four i'll have um eight three quarter or 8.75 that's what i'll be using so you you'll mark it on your chest line like so then you go ahead and then use your curve to join the points together okay so in order to work on the other side of the cup we're going to be dividing this side by two so at this point you are coming down by half of an inch so just take your curve and draw in a slanted line like you see me doing Then we'll be drawing our cap from here to this half inch we marked all the way back to the underpass. Okay, so this is how it's going to be looking like. So it's time for putting in our measurements. So um, I already divided my chest line using my bust measurements. I divided it by four, had eight three quarter. So this point here, I'm just going to be replacing it to the side. So you come and then measure this side on your chest line like so. So this is where I'm having it. So I'm, whatever, whatever you have at this point, just go ahead and then transfer it over here. And then add your allowance. I'll be adding one inch allowance for mine. You can add more allowance if you want to. The next thing I'll be doing is dividing my waist by four my waist is 28 28 divided by four is seven so you're just gonna be placing your um tape measure like this start from this center front here mark it to the first that's like here so whatever you have here mark it on your tape measure and then transfer that green part all the way to the other side or all the way from where the dart ends then you mark out your waistline Plus the allowance you are going to use for that side. So like I said, I'm using one inch allowance for mine. So I'm going to explain it again. On the waistline, I, I just started from the center front like this. Measured up to the first that there, uh, sorry. Measured up to the first that leg, which is this part. Then I marked it here. Then I transferred this point I marked here all the way to the end of the dot at this side. Then I, I continued with the measurement so that's my seven here plus my one inch allowance i hope i'm not confusing you guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and then do that same thing to the hem so the hem minus 10 three quarter with the hem side you divide your hip by four the hip my hip is 43 divided by four is 10.75 so that's what i'm going, going to be marking at this point So I'm just gonna go ahead and then use my curve to join all the points together. Sorry, I forgot to add one inch allowance to the hem. Okay. So we are done with the front part of our cut pattern so i'm just gonna go ahead and then cut it out and then show you how to draft the back so i'm done cutting out my front pattern it's gonna look something like this i haven't separated the caps yet because I want, i'm going to be using it to um draw the back so with the back just place the front on it like this make sure the center front meets like this then we're just we're only just gonna trace out the side and then mark out the where the waistline starts from and also to all the way to the hem so just like this okay so i'm going to be using my ruler to join all the parts together then i'll go ahead and just draw a straight line from this point 
all the way to the other side like this so i also went ahead to draw in my waistline here so this is the chest line the waistline and then the hem so i'm just gonna be um marking out my dots so on the waistline just come in by three and a half um that's the bust point divided by two that's three and a half here measure it for the hem and then for the top part here and i'm just going to draw a straight line to connect all the points together so on the waistline i'm going to mark half inch at both sides half inch here half inch here then i'm just going to draw my dots from this point all the way to the hem here okay so it will look something like this the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be marking half inch at the chest line here also at both sides and then half inch at the hem here i'll be connecting it from this point all the way to the hem line so i'll be using my curve to do that too So I'll just go ahead and then put in my measurements. Our bus line divided by four. So mine was 8.75. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here. When I measure from here to the first that like it was three inches. So I'm just gonna continue the three inches from here. And then mark out my 8.75 here. And then on my waist, my waist was seven. So I'm just gonna transfer it here. It's on this part point so i'm just going to transfer it like so and then mark out my seven here and for the hem that's my hip divided by four you, you just go ahead and then do that same thing to it so after marking all these points like this you're just going to go ahead and then use your curve to join them like so So here becomes your new side for your back. So I just canceled this side because we don't need this line anymore. This is our new line here. So I'll be going in one inch at the center back here. Then I'll use my curve to blend it from here to that point. Okay, so it will look something like this. So we don't need this part too. After doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and mark half inch at my uh, waistline here. If you're going to be fixing a zipper here, just go ahead and go half an inch here. And then connect it from the top here to the waist. And then back to the hemline. So if you're going to be using an highlight or a loop at the center back here, you're just gonna go in by 1.25 here and then one inch at the top here and then one inch two at the bottom and then you just go ahead and use your curve to join that side too that's if you are going to do a loop on eyelet at the back you know you will need space to um, tighten it okay so this is how this is the side you cut if you are doing a loop or the eyelet and this is the side you cut if you're doing like a zipper so i'm just gonna go ahead and then cut out my back too so before separating my pieces for the front i'm just gonna go ahead and label them i'm putting these arrows just to show that this one and this side meets here Okay, so it's time to cut out the caps. So I'm just gonna take a time and then cut it out. So this is how our patterns will be looking like. And for the back, I forgot to add my one inch sewing allowance like i did for the front remember the front i came out by one inch uh, for the sewing allowance so the back i forgot to do that so please do that before you even cut it out okay 
so um let me know in the comment section if you if you have tried this pattern and it has worked out for you don't also forget to um, like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i'll be uploading a new tutorial using these patterns which i can't wait to show you all so that's it for today's tutorial have a lovely day bye